And I never go in with anything nasty like interfering with women or kids. Just burglaries and all ups me. My last brief before you, Mr. Bagnall, he says to me, he says, Edward, he says, you're locked in a room for a couple of hours with two big coppers. You'll confess to anything. Well, I'm confessing in 20 minutes. I'm saving police time, not wasting it. Police. Westor Road, Nick, please. Westor Road, please, station. This is Edward, the confessor here. I've just murdered my defence solicitor. Finally, in mitigation, I'd like to draw your worship's attention to my client's deprived childhood, the recent loss of his job, and the sad death of his much-loved mother. Boy! What's going on? I uh, know his cousin. Bollocks, you're trying to poach my client? I thought Mr Bagnall was going to be my brief. I'm handling his cases now. Yeah, well, I'll be waiting an hour for you. Did he mention he's a second worst solicitor in Greater Manchester? Stick with me, probation. Go with him. You're looking at six months. I still want to change lawyers. So who's the worst solicitor in Greater Manchester? Harry Bagnall. But since he's cancelled his subscription to the Law Society Gazette, I guess it's you now. Mr Bagnall's retiring? Retired. Industrial injury. To a lawyer? What happened? He got bored to death. Hello? One, I'm not a suspect. And two, it's not my tea anyway. Yeah, I know, mate. This is. There you go, Spinker. What's, uh, what is he, uh, a paedophile or something? Crown prosecutor. <clears throat> I'm Theodore Gulliver. Um, from Bagnall and Dunbar. <laughs> Dunbar's hired you. Yes. Right. Matt, can you get sights from number one for me? There you go, lads. Bagnall and Dunbar, criminal defence specialists. Here you go, boys. Don't behave yourselves. Derek got caught trying to rob a £20 football shirt from a couple of City fans outside his bail hostel. Being as they was twice his size, Derek didn't get very far. OK, thanks. All right, Derek, I'm your solicitor, Theodore Gulliver. Just fill in the form and I'll have you bailed first thing tomorrow. I don't want to be bailed tomorrow. I don't never want to be bailed. We're happy to caution him, but the hostel won't have him back unless he's charged. I ain't going back to no hostel. People, they kick at my door, they beat me up. So I'm going to do more shit until you can get me out of here. Look, Derek, just sign the form, yeah? Well, I don't want him clustering up my neck. So what are you going to do? Me? <laughs> Nothing. You could always try and get hold of his probation officer. But I can't use that in here, Sonny. How are you getting on? Some kid who tried to nick a £20 T-shirt. Got him off the caution. So he's not been charged? Well, provided I can get hold of a probation officer. No, you want to get hold of a brain. 60 quid attendance fee. Now, what good's that? Now, if he's charged, you're looking at £46.90 prep, £26.30 waiting, three hours of vice and assistance at 69.05, travel, see? Bang on, 300 quid. Come on. We earn £300, yeah? And the police spend what? Another £500 arresting him? Three hours arresting, four investigating, custody jailer exhibits, probably nearer a thousand. And it's £500 more at court tomorrow? Six. So that's £2,000 to stop some kid stealing a £20 T-shirt? Plus another two grand if he gets off a of probation, or 20 grand if we send him down for six months. And you're happy to spend £24,000 to stop some kid stealing a £20 T-shirt? Yep. So why not just give him the T-shirt and save yourself 23980 Because you wouldn't be earning and I'd have to steal the T-shirt.
He's looking for a juvenile who's actually going to be charged with something. Nothing fancy a Section 8 of the 1968 Theft Act to do. Take your pick. She might be thick and faulty, but you've got to be nice to her. Because she hands out the work and decides the charges. Isn't that right, Elaine? Custody Sergeant Ross to you. Pill at all. So how do you know whether she wants to cut a deal? Um, you read the case papers? No. You feel for a pen. All right, Bill, loan us a pen, will you, mate? You see? If the Blue Surge gives you a pen, you know they'll play ball. But if they leave you to find a pen, you know you're in trouble. It's like a date. Me and him are going to spend the night together. I'm going to teach him everything I know. Unless you fancy taking his place. Only ask him. John Smith, Ashanti Ferris, Chris Robinson, Shavanya Holding. Why do they always have these names? What names? Ishanti, Karish, Shivania. I mean, you get born in Cheatham Hill. No future, no money. Your mama says, I oh, know, we'll give you a name you can't spell till you're 20. What is it, a sort of boy named Suthi? Theodore? Is that what your dad did to you? No, he just sent me to public school. Well, you better have John Smith, then. Three things, right? One, don't let them say anything. Two, book them for an appearance, and three, for Christ's sake, make sure they sign the legal aid form. Because if they don't, you don't get paid. And that's it? Yeah. He's, uh, caught redundant in the middle of a burglary. Inside or outside the house? He was inside. Anyway, he refused the solicitor. But you did offer him one? Send the disclosure. He didn't want one, but he did want to cooperate, so after a long chat with us, he asked for 78 other offences to be taken into consideration. 78? Well, he's a smackhead. So you're keeping him in a cell where you can retrieve his bodily excretions? Well, the arresting thought it was a swallower, but nothing's come out so far. But there are no drug charges? Not yet. All these burglaries. Where's Borsal Avenue? North Ferry. Stockley. What about Oak Tree Road? That's North Ferry. Pressfield. You don't know where any of these places are, do you? So how could you have burgled them? Must have had a map. Why confess to 78 burglaries he didn't do? Do you think they threatened him? Yeah, probably told him you were going to be his lawyer. So there's nothing we can do about it? Not without watching hours and hours of CCTV tapes. And the police will let me do that? They have to. If you make a complaint, we can charge what we like for that. What kind of complaint? I'll think of something. See? First night out, you turn up a complaint. Except I forgot to get him to sign the legal aid form. A complaint? On what grounds? None of your business, but I want the CCTV tapes of Smith in custody. I thought it was yours. You know, this is just willy-waving for your benefit. Listen, a dark catch my willy-waving itself anywhere near you is the day me and my cop park company. So this is being nice to her, is it? Uh, she knows it's nothing personal. There. And you can tell that other fucking fuck face fucker he can fucking fuck off and all. I ain't making no complaint against the police. The issue is, we're under codes here, the Police and Criminal Evidence Act. I declare you a non-competent specky like for you anyway. But he didn't do anything. We'll be the judge of that. So, it's a year into my accreditation, and then what? You're accredited. I mean, how long will it be until I get a chance to make partner? I'll make you a partner now, if you like. Just like that? You want to do the paperwork, deal with the LSC? You're welcome to. Well, will this come up in my viva? Couldn't care less. As soon as I train, you're off to set up in competition. So why take me on? Unforeseen staff shortage. What's your mobile number? 07700 900 008. Hello. It's your lucky day. How do you fancy an IC1 juvenile picked up for arson? Probably the Mestos. Tried to burn down his children's home. The Mestos? One thick squirt clean round the bed. He'll take it. Right. Don't forget the legal aid form. Right. This is Connor Riley. He's a 16-year-old bail absconder. How many times you tried to burn the home down now, Connor? Eleven. Wait a minute. You can save your questions for the interview. But there isn't going to be one. Connor's a diagnosed psych, so we're just going to nut him off, OK? That's not a legal term I'm familiar with. Can I give my dog a biscuit now? Not at the moment, Connor. All right. 
Look, his parents don't want him, the prisons don't want him, and I don't want him, so let's just nut him off to a psychiatric unit where he might get some proper treatment for a change. And you can do this, can you? No, but you can. Look, just sort out with the CPS tomorrow and slap it in front of the first DJ you can find. Do you know what a psychiatric unit is, Connor? Yeah. It's a prison for loonies. Two loonies to go to prison. So what do you think about going there? I don't mind. Can you give me a dog a biscuit now? No, Connor, you can't. But you'll die without a biscuit. There's a place allocated in Norfolk, right, but the gold dust. You hang it out to clear your throat, you lose it. Oi! You've forgotten your client's dog. I don't want it. Well, we can't keep it here, and I ain't sending some saddo's dog to the pound to be destroyed. Do you want to do it? Be my guest. <laughs> Reach the office of Bagno and Dunbar, criminal defence specialist. This office is now closed. If your call is an emergency, please phone our out of office hours number on 077 00 900 008. Please. Oh, look. That's that Rona Gasco. You remember shoplifting about four weeks ago? Your 345 that we moved to 220 to make room for Spinky's GBH. She just got a fine. Never paid it, of course. Sorry I'm late. You got a dog? It belongs to Connor. Legal aid don't include dog sitting, pooping, stooping, or scooping. You want to send it to the pound? Here. Just get it away. I'll try the RSPCA then. Hello, could I talk to somebody about a dog? You ever seen a smacky clean the bog? I've never seen you clean one. I'll leave that to juniors. What time am I caught? About ten minutes. What's well, in such a hurry? Join the witness detection scheme. The witness detection scheme? Yeah. If the witness turns up, Chummy goes home and his case is adjourned as a no-show. But if the witness doesn't show up, Chummy goes to court and the case is still adjourned. And with a bit of luck, after a few adjournments, everybody gets bored and the case is dropped. It's yours, if you like. But I haven't read the case papers. Me neither. What do you think courts are for? Not again, I mean, I'll kill you, right? Shut it! Oi, oi, oi! Get out of here! Bastard. 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 He's a complete bastard. The victim impact statement runs on in a similar vein for another couple of pages, but I think we've seen enough of its flavour to see that there have been very real psychological consequences to this young man's victim. Does the defence have anything to add? Uh, no, Your Worship. Then we're inclined to agree, Miss Beckenham. Six months in a young offenders institute. Next case, number 632, Wakar Akbar, robbery and criminal damage. <clears throat> I better take this. A word to the wise never come up against Sarah unless you're completely prepared. She's destroyed more male egos than public school. 